welcome back to KTR Videos. Today's tutorial is on Frenchie Perfume, and as you know, she is a season four Shopkin, and she's a limited edition. So if you want to draw her along with me, then get your paper and pencil ready, and let's get started. Okay guys, so to do Frenchie Perfume, um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start off with the left-hand side of her body, and we will do that by drawing a rectangle. So we're going to just draw a straight line up, as you see I'm doing, do it slowly and do it lightly, because you can always go over it dark um, once you're happy with how straight you got it. Okay, so once we do that, now we're going to draw a line from the bottom like this, because again, we're working on a rectangle. And then we're going to come back up and just try to get it about the same size as I have it. Um, so you want to go like this. Essentially, we're going to be making three rectangles here. Um, two small ones and one large one. Okay, so here is one rectangle. Now the next one is going to be larger, so but it's going to be connected to, to this one. So we're going to make another long line going to be about the width of four of those um, rectangles that we just drew. So keep going a little wide, maybe a little bit more. Okay, about here. And now we're going to come down just like this. Okay. Um, all right, perfect. I'm not going to draw the bottom part in here because that's where her feet are going to be. So let's go ahead and do our last rectangle here. This is our third and last. Um, so it's going to be about like this. So about the same size as the first one that we drew. And I'm going to come down and stop there. Okay, let me move this to the center a little bit here for you guys. Okay, um, now we're going to work on her feet. And her feet kind of resemble uh, lemon wedges, actually. So we're just gonna come here, we're gonna round down, and then make a straight line across. So if you look at that, that kind of looks like a lemon or orange wedge, like a little slice. There we go. And we're going to do the, ident um, the same exact thing, identical foot on the other side. So just kind of come around. And a straight line across and there we go so here we have our two orange slices or orange wedges or lemon whatever you prefer <laughs> all right her hands um, her hands actually look like beans in my opinion like little jelly beans so um, you're gonna put one on each side so here's this one and the other one that we're gonna start um, kind of um, sits at um, an angle a bit more than this one. So, but it doesn't really matter if you don't want to draw it at an angle because it's harder than don't, but they are being shaped, both of them. Okay. All right, you guys, sorry, my computer stopped on me, or not my computer, but my camera, but all I did was I drew a circle for the eye, as I always do, and then the eyelashes. Right now, I'm just drawing a semi-circle uh, for her iris. Okay, but moving on to the next eye, you're just gonna make a nice round circle, um, just like this, then add her eyelashes. Um, as you know, she does have three. Perfect. And, um, and then we're gonna draw another semicircle in her eye, and this will make her iris. And then of course her pupil right there. All right, now her nose. Her nose is super teeny tiny, so you can make a tiny little oval right there. And then her lips, and they kind of look like an M, so they're very curvy, and they, ha they go slightly up um, at the ends, just so you guys know. So kind of like that. Um, and then they just come down just a tad bit, like this, like this more or less. And then of course, don't forget to draw on that line that divides the upper and bottom lip, like that. Perfect, we are almost done guys. Uh, let's do her eyebrows, they look like little commas here. Meaning on one end it's thin and on the other end it's thicker. Make another little comma here for her eyebrows, like that. All right, now this is where things get a bit complicated. Draw a very short line like I am at the corner like that, just like that, okay? Now we're going to start the, the lid. I'm kind of jumping here because this will make it easier. Um, okay, so for the lid, we're making a rectangle here. So kind of follow what I'm doing. It's not gonna be a very wide rectangle, just longer. 
just like this and then come across Okay, as you can see, this is about the same width as the larger rectangle here um, where her face is, where I'm showing you, right there, okay? Now the bottom part of the lid is just a tad bit over, um, leaving a little bit of space here, but it's another rectangle essentially, kind of like what I'm doing here, copy what I'm doing, and let's just draw a straight line across. Perfect. All right, the ribbon is hard, you guys, so this might take more than one attempt. Start off by drawing that little circle here. And then that first ribbon is, um, is going to be the start and end point for this ribbon. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna come around, touch that little line that we drew a few minutes ago, and then come loop back around and touch the circle again, okay? Now do the same thing on the inside so that we can make it look like a ribbon, like that, okay? So it's like a ribbon or a loop. All right, the next one, starting at that circle again, come down and around this is going to kind of look like come back to that circle as you guys can see what i just did here loop around anyway this kind of looks like um like a water balloon to be honest with you but anyway now we're going to do the same thing again but on the inside so we can make it look like a loop so come around now, as you can see, I did not speed this part of the video up at all because I know this is tricky and I wanted to make sure that you guys could see what I'm doing. Um, here, I'm just erasing um, the lines that are inside the ribbon. Okay, the next one um, starts about here and it comes down. Now, this is the longest piece, so it just comes down, curves slightly, and then we're gonna come back up again. As you can see, I'm doing here. And it kind of merges or blends in um, with the loop that we made a minute ago. All right, the last one, thankfully, is not that hard. You're just gonna come out all the way to the edge of the bottle and then down. Um, and then do it again on the inside. Again, that's just so we can make it look like a loop. Now feel free to pause the video, guys, because I know this can be very tricky. I had a hard time with it, too. And then erase whatever you need to erase. All right, guys, well, that's the end of the drawing portion of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a thing or two. Um, if you want to color her in with me, then get your crayons or markers or pencils ready. All right, guys, for today, I will be using my favorite, uh, which are colored pencils. But first, I'm going to show you the colors that I will be using. And that's yellow, black, orange, dark purple, pink, light gray, and either dark gray or silver. All right, guys, we're going to be starting off with the eyes, and I changed my mind. I'm using black, but I'm gonna use a black marker just for her eyes. Um, it just fills it in real nice, so I'm just gonna do that. So we're gonna color in her eyelashes, trace her eye, and color in the pupil. Um, so just go ahead and do that. If you need to pause the video, then feel free to do so. So as you can see, I'm just tracing it and shading in those eyelashes. And I'm coloring um, the iris, but not the pupil. So leave that little glare or pupil alone. We want that to be white so it stands out. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. So don't forget about that other eye. There we go. If you are not using marker here, um, then uh, just you add as many layers as you need to. Layers means you're just coloring once or twice over the same spot to make it solid. All right, so there we go with the eyes. Next, we're taking the orange color and we are coloring in the eyebrows, tracing the nose, and we're going to go ahead and trace her entire body. Be sure not to trace the ribbons or the, uh, the lid, because those are not supposed to be orange, okay? So once again, just color in the eyebrows, trace the nose, and then trace the rest of her body, so the bottle and her hands. Let's not forget about her hands. 
All right, now we're taking our yellow um, and we are going to color in her entire body minus her lips. And then of course, not the ribbon or the lid. And I'm gonna be adding about two or three layers because I am using colored pencil. So for me, it's necessary. Okay, now we're gonna take our dark purple guys and we are going to trace these lips of hers. Um, just trace them real nice and dark. Okay, and now we take our pink and we're going to color her lips in. Just like this, perfect. All right, let's go back to that dark purple and let's trace her ribbon. So that little circle and then the and all of the loops and strings that we uh, drew a moment ago. Just trace them in nice and dark. If you are keeping up with me, by the way, um, good for you because this was actually a tough one to draw, even for me. So there you go. And don't give up, you guys. Practice makes perfect, okay? All right, now I'm just taking my pink um, right here and I'm um, coloring in the ribbons. Just color them in as dark as you want. Perfect, okay. Now uh, let's take our orange and I am just going to color the bottom portion. Uh, not too dark because I want to, um, well basically I just don't want to go too dark. She just has a touch of orange at the bottom and then she just kind of fades to yellow. Um, so I'm just taking my orange here and I did a couple layers so it came out nice and um, orange at the bottom. And right now I'm just adding little accents. Um, you don't have to do this part. I'm just basically making the lines more solid. Um, here we go, like that, okay? Um, all right, next we have the lid and that's it. All right, so we're gonna trace this with our dark gray or silver, whatever you're using. Just make it nice and dark. And then we're gonna take our um, light gray and we're going to color the entire thing in. All right, now take your dark gray or silver and we're going to press dark here. We're just adding a little bit of shine to her lid. Press dark here in the corner and then color nice and lightly with that dark gray all around where you added the dark marks just around it, okay? Then add another dark mark down here. Color in nice and lightly over here, like that. All right guys, we finished Frenchie Perfume, yay! Um, if you were able to finish her along with me, then give yourselves a round of applause because let me tell you something, this one was a bit tough, even for me to try to get the first time, especially that ribbon part. Well, anyway you guys, um, if you did finish it up and you wanna share your artwork with us, put it up on our Facebook page, we would love to check it out. And if there's another character you want us to draw, just uh, let us know in the comments below. Well guys, until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Spanish channel.